Hello everyone, this is Zia Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve the given differential equation. So let's get going. Problem, solve x square into d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx plus y equals to 4 sine log x. We are given a differential equation, higher order differential equation with variable equations. So we are going to reduce this to Cauchy's equation and later we will reduce that to higher order linear differential equations with constant coefficients. So, let's begin with the given differential equation. Given differential equation, x square into d square y by dx square plus x into dy by dx plus y equals to 4 sine log x. We know that d is a differential operator whose independent variable is x and d square is d square by dx square. Now we can write the given differential equation as x square d square y plus x dy plus y equals to 4 sine of log x. Right? Now take y common from all the three terms of LHS. We get x square d square plus x d plus 1 into y equals to 4 sine of log x, which is Cauchy's equation. Now we'll reduce this equation to linear equation with constant coefficients. I mean higher order linear differential equation with constant coefficients. Simply by making a substitution, put x equals to e power z, then z equals to log x to the base e for x greater than 0 and let theta equals to theta, sorry, d by dz. Here theta is a differential operator whose independent variable is z. Okay, and we'll replace x d by theta, x square d square by theta into theta minus 1. Now we can write this equation as replace x square d square by theta into theta minus 1 plus Replace x d by theta plus 1 into y equals to 4 sine replace log x by z. We will get 4 sine z. Okay. Then theta into theta theta square minus theta into 1 theta plus theta plus 1 into y equals to 4 sine z. Here minus theta plus theta gets cancelled and we will get theta square plus 1 into y equals to 4 sine z, which is an operator form f of theta into y equals to some function in z. Which is in operator form where f of theta equals to theta square plus 1. Next, we'll find yc and yp because the general solution of this equation or the given equation is given by y equals to yc plus y. So let's find yc and yp now. The auxiliary equation is f of m equals to 0 where f of m equals to we have f of theta Theta squared plus 1 so let's replace differential operator by m so that we'll get f of m equals to m squared plus 1. Now, our auxiliary equation becomes m squared plus 1 equals to 0, right? Then, m squared equals to minus 1. Then, m equals to plus or minus square root of minus 1, right? Since we know that i equals to minus 1, I mean square root of minus 1, so let's replace square root of minus 1 by i will get plus or minus i. Pair of complex conjugate roots. Therefore, m equals to plus or minus i is a pair of complex conjugate 
roots. Of f of m equals to zero, that is our auxiliary equation. Okay, we know that a plus i b is a complex number. Then its conjugate is a minus i b. If a minus i b is a complex number, its conjugate is a plus i b. So we can call a plus or minus i b as complex conjugate roots, right? When m equals to a plus or minus i b, we'll have y c e power a x into c one. Sorry for independent variable z will get y equals to or y c equals to e power a z into c one cos b z plus c two sine b z. In case of a equals to zero, we'll get e power zero into z, which is e power zero into c one cos b z. Plus c two sine b z, right? We know that e power zero is one, so we'll get one into c one cos b z plus c two sine b z is equals to c one cos b z plus c two sine b z. Now let's write the complementary function. Y c equals to c one for b equals to one will get c one cos one into z plus c two sine one into z. This equals to c one cos z plus c two sine z. Now replace z equals to log x. To the base e, okay. We need to write in terms of x, so we'll replace z. Then y c becomes c one cos log x to the base e plus c two sine log x to the base. E. These are required y c. Let's now find particular integral. We'll find particular integral by one by f of theta into R H S part four sine z. Since four is constant, let's take it towards left. We'll get one four into one by theta square plus one into sine z. So this is one by f of theta into sine a z form, right? Now compare sine z with sine a z. We'll get a equals to one. For a equals to one, we'll find theta square, which is given by minus of a square, which is equals to minus of one square equals to minus one. Now, if we replace theta square by minus one, we'll get the denominator zero. Okay, always remember that the denominator must be non-zero because if we get the denominator zero, we'll get one by zero into sine z, which is undefined because one by zero is undefined, so total term becomes. Undefined. So what we'll do now is equals to four into right independent variable into one by find derivative of theta square plus one. If f of theta equals to theta square plus one, then f dash of theta will be two theta, right? Now write two theta in the denominator into sine. Z is equals to four into z into we can write one by two theta as one by two into one by theta into sine z. Now pick this and put beside four or four into one by two is four by two or simply two you'll get okay. Is equals to two z into one by theta into sine z. Now, here one by theta is an integral operator. Okay, we'll perform integration. Is equals to two z into integral sine z d z. Integral sine z d z is minus cos z. Right. 
then y becomes minus 2z cos z. Now let's write in terms of x. For that we need to replace z by log x to the base. Then y becomes minus 2 log x to the base e cos of log x to the base e. Okay? Into. So these are required yp. We got yc and yp. So now let's write the general solution. The general solution is given by y equals to yc plus yp. Then y equals to yc we have c1 cos log x to the base e plus c2 sin log x to the base e and yp is minus minus 2 log x to the base e into cos x sorry cos of log x to the base this is the required solution so we have seen a problem from Cauchy's equation in this video hope you'll understand we'll see you in the next video until then bye bye